So we're now going to go to our last outcrop stop of the day before we, we switch to doing the correlation exercise and that is stop 5.5 so we basically walked up, up a path back from stop 5.4 past 5.3 and we're returning uh, almost back to where we started stop 5.5 for, for, stop in, in here um, so here, what we're doing is we're standing on the bedding plane, the top surface of the Rhodoise sandstone, and we can basically look down at our feet uh, and see you know, what, what that top surface looks like. And if you remember when we looked at that from stop 5.3, looking across the cliff face, and you were sketching the clinoforms within the Rhodoise sandstone unit, um, we made the observation that the upper two or three meters of the Rhodoise sandstone body looks harder and more resistant. And we can start to think about, well, why is that? What are we seeing on this top surface that might help to explain that? Okay, so the second bullet point here is that, you know, we do see some shells and you'll see example of those in the next couple of slides. And they, they belong to um, particular bivalve community, so I'm going to not pronounce this very well, Goniaria crassatella community, and that's associated with firm, hard substrates, so the thick-shelled bivalves, they basically need to be pretty resistant because they're, they're living on um, hard, semi-consolidated, um, semi-lithified substrates. They also occur in shallow water, less than 10 meters of water depth. So here we are looking down at our feet. Here's an example. This is a cross section through one of these Crassatella bivalves. So you see other examples in here, which is where the cut is kind of less um, attractive. It's easy to identify what the shells are. And you can see this, there's lots of calcareous material, all these white spots in here. That's that, that's bioclastic material. Zoom in a little bit, yeah, you can see a little bit more of these white spots, and also you know, pretty nice. You see the internal mold of of one valve in that shell. The other valve is is over here. Okay, and just as a reminder, this is sort of taking us back to. Um, well, it's actually still from this stop, but if we look directly across the river, we can see this is the top surface where we're making our observations, and you can see the upper couple of meters. It's harder, it's paler colored, and we want to think about why that is, essentially. <laughs>